My name is Christy Brereton. I'm 25 years old. I'm from the UK. I'm a two times world Muay Thai kickboxing champion. I'm fighting Nicola Kay, 2nd of June, Birmingham. I'm fighting Christy Brereton. She's good. She's well known in the Muay Thai circuit. She's number one at 55 kilos. I'm number one at 52.5 kilos. But I was very committed at a young age. I had to give up a lot of my time. I wanted to do it for fitness. I went along to a little class. I didn't know what to expect. And then I absolutely loved it. And it was always the wondering. I wonder if I could be a fighter. I wonder if I could win a belt. I wonder if I could be one of the best. I wonder if I could fight on glory. So my first knockout was when I was 13. I was fighting someone who was in her 20s. It was professional. She like came up, up, up in my face before the fight and got the crowd going. I think it backfired because I think at the end of the first round, I caught her with a head kick right on her neck and then I saw her eyes roll back and then I threw it again and she just dropped. And that moment, the whole crowd just went quiet and then a big applause like that. I have recently quit my job, so I wanted to pursue my passions, uh, fighting and, and train full time. Just you keep moving forward and keep pushing yourself and see where you can get with something. I just want to take it all the way. I suppose at school I was a shy, a uh, normal girl to the teachers and they didn't really understand what I did outside of school life to be on a strict eating plan at school and I'd be sat there with like my tub of rice and chicken and the kids next to me would be going, oh, what's that smell? And you'd be like, oh, hiding your stuff. But to be honest, I didn't really care because I had quite a strong mind. As I always dreamt that I would be doing this sport in years to come. So I had my daughter at 19 years old and then um, Whilst I was pregnant, I remember people saying to me, oh, you won't get, you won't get back to it. Wait till you've had her. And, it, and it's just that, again, determination. So I wanted to get back in the gym. I think it was like six weeks later, I just picked up a skipping rope, started skipping. Six months time, I had my first fight back. I think I've got a style that, you know, can cause an upset. What I bring to the ring as a fighter, I'm exciting. I'm always down for a scrap. I'm very forward, I like to put pressure on my opponent, I like to wear them down. Really, I have a style which can adapt very good with my kicks, um, knocking people out with head kicks, uh, push kicks to the face. To win a glory contract after this fight would be absolutely amazing. You know, it's what people dream of, it's what fighters work for. All of that hard work, all of that sacrifice, it would make it all worth it last few years you know I'm putting putting away overseas opponents in the first and second rounds you know so it's time for me to head on to the bigger stage now and take on these champions it's to make a statement and make a name for myself now uh, I, I want to challenge all the females in that division you know I think I can definitely dominate that division it's a perfect weight for me and she's doing her dancing outside the ring but I will do mine inside the ring and show everyone that she's in the wrong pond. It's going to really put all my sacrifice um, to work. It's really going to make everything worth it for me um, to beat her. So let's get it on. Saturday, June 2nd, it's two title fights in one night at Glory 54 Birmingham. Riding a 15-fight win streak, the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven puts the heavyweight title on the line against the Scorpion Sting, Milan Brestovac. Plus, welterweight world title action as number one ranked Aleem Nabiev takes on the champ, Haruk Gregorian, and British beast, Bailey Sugden. Glory 54 Birmingham, Saturday, June 2nd. Check time and date in your area. Don't miss it.